R2, back of course talking FF7 here, talking about some Rebirth. We've got some pretty cool news today. The Rebirth is going to be a part of the Esports World Cup. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's actually an ongoing tournament as of right now. Over the course of like a couple of months, I think like three months or something like that, it's, it's like the biggest prize pool ever. It's like $60 million spread across like a lot of the top games in the world. I'm actually only aware of it because of Call of Duty, because I, I do play a little bit of Warzone sometimes, and I follow a couple channels and watch a couple of people that live stream the game. And one of the channels I watched, Destroy, I don't know if you guys know Call of Duty content creators or not, but he was actually there, him and his team were there to compete for the Warzone tournament. Obviously, Rebirth is not there in the competitive sense. It's not the kind of game you play at an esports tournament for prize money, though that'd be kind of cool. I don't know how you do it exactly. But it's going to be there on, like, display. It's going to be like an exhibit you can go to. I was actually reading this article that we're going to look at here in a second, and after reading it, I hopped on the Twitter just to kind of see what was going on in the community, and I actually had somebody DM me about this yeah, upcoming event or whatever. It's actually going to be going there, which is kind of cool. So shout out to that guy for letting me know. Even though I was already aware that this event was happening, that actually let me know about it, which I appreciate. Hamaguchi and Katase are going to be there at a certain point, so maybe we can get somebody in the community to finally ask him the fabled question of how big is Cloud's dick. Anyways, let's hop into it. Kadia City, a destination for entertainment, sports, and culture, has collaborated with international video game publisher Square Enix to bring Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to the boulevard in the heart of Riyadh during the 2024 Esports World Cup. The event will run from August 11th with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth producer Yoshinori Kitase and director Naoki Yamaguchi making a special appearance at the event on August 16th. So as I did mention previously in the video, Katase and Hamaguchi are going to be there, and we know it's on the specific day. It's going to be on the 16th. Now, obviously, there is a time zone thing here, so... I'm assuming it's going to be in the 16th in Riyadh, so you have to do, like, your time zone conversion stuff there to be able to watch this shit. It will be live stream on Twitch, which they mentioned later in the article. Visitors can immerse themselves in the story of the role-playing game as the more than 15,000 square foot retrospective experience takes the form of the legendary city of Midgar, complete with scaled replicas of the in-game vehicles Tiny Bronco and the Buggy. So we can actually stop there again, because this is fucking cool. They're going to have a massive area, 15,000 square foot area that's, like... Some sort of, like, recreation of Midgar. I don't know if they're trying to do, like, the whole city or just maybe, like, a particular sector. But they're going to take up, like, a huge area to do that shit. But they're also going to have, like, life-size replicas of the buggy and the tiny Bronco. Which is fucking cool. And those are, like, massive vehicles when you play Rebirth, right? So, like, we're going to see this shit in real life. Which you have seen them do before. They actually did something like this with Remake with Claude's bike, the Hardy Daytona. And you could, like, sit on the bike and take pictures and, like, have the bus resort and shit like that. So it's not something necessarily new. But it is still pretty cool. I will say, though, to be a little bit of a downer, that as cool as Midgar is and as iconic as it is, it's only, like, a small part of Rebirth, sort of. Like, it's only with the Zack stuff, right? Like, the majority of the game is the rest of the world that we're exploring. So I think it would have been kind of cool to, like, recreate, like, another location, maybe, like, Junon or something. It would be kind of cool to see, like, the big-ass cannon. Obviously not to scale, because that thing is fucking ridiculous. But, like, it would have been kind of cool to see, like, you know, part of Junon recreated or something. Or anywhere else. Forgotten Capital. I don't know. Something. Fans will have the opportunity to play the game at the event. Additionally, VIP ticket holders will have the chance to win prizes, including limited edition signed posters and merchandise. Fans can attend a one-night event featuring a special presentation and Q&A session with Katase and Hamaguchi as they share their experience of creating the game. So I assume that Q&A event will be on the 16th, which is, you know, as we read previously in the article, is whenever Katase and Hamaguchi are going to be there. And of course, when it comes to any sort of like Q&A thing, we've looked at, I think, pretty much all of them, like pre-rebirth, post-rebirth. I think we've looked at pretty much all of them. They always seem to have something worth discussing. You know, they're like hour, hour and a half long Q&A sessions and we can only make like a 10 minute video out of it. There's still things worth talking about. And again, it will be live. So to somebody in the audience, ask them the size of Claude's penis. The event will take place at Riyadh's Falcon Seams HQ at 8 p.m. Tickets can be purchased from August 1st on Webook.com. For international fans, the event will be live streamed on Twitch and supported by a live watch party featuring popular gaming influencers. So that part I thought was kind of interesting because not only are they live streaming this on Twitch, but there's also going to be a watch party, which seems kind of strange, right? I wonder if there's going to be something like kind of interesting here more than just a Q&A session. I don't want to like go off the rails with like, you know, part three type shit or whatever, but like just the fact that they have like a watch party instead of just like a live streaming it for people to watch. Like why do they need a watch party there? That's a little intriguing. Also, they said that it'll be hosted or they'll be like, you know, popular gaming influencers or whatever. Um, I hope that's people from the community at least. I don't know if it's going to be a watch party where, like, everybody's in the same room together or if they're just having, like, people that are, like, kind of, like, hosts or whatever and they're, all like, on Discord or Zoom or some stuff. But I would prefer it to be people that we all kind of know from the community. You know, I don't know who. Max is a good example of somebody that would be kind of cool for this event. And I don't want just, like, some guy who's just, like, got a shit ton of followers who just so happens to also be kind of a fan of Final Fantasy. Or just let me do it. Where's my goddamn invite? Let me host this shit. We don't need nobody else. I'll do it by myself. I'll do it for a $20 Amazon gift card. Arna Bata... 
Charia, almost definitely slaughtered in that guy's last name. Director of strategy for the gaming and esports district of Kadia says, The Legend of Final Fantasy VII, with beloved relatable characters and incredible story, stunning art and epic soundtrack, is exactly the type of interactive experience we aspire to deliver to gaming fans across the globe as we continue to develop the wonder and lore of Kadia City's gaming and esports district. This is one of my favorite games of all time, and I believe anyone who plays will have a truly memorable experience. We're incredibly grateful for the opportunity to collaborate with Square Enix and bring this remarkable game to life during the most anticipated gaming event of the year. And the rest of the article from that point is just kind of talking about, like, Kadia City and the esports district and all that other shit that doesn't really pertain to what we're talking about here. So this is pretty cool, man. Like, just, it sounds like a pretty fun experience. It'd be kind of cool to, uh, hopefully we get pictures at some point of what this looks like uh, prior to the event. We'd be able to see what, like the recreation of Midgar or whatever it is looks like and what like you know the buggy and tiny bronco look like also it's great to see like ff7 and rebirth and square Enix kind of get this rub right to be able to be a part of like the biggest game event ever right over the course of the next couple of months up until maybe next year when they try to top it again potentially do you wonder with something like this like are they paying square Enix to do this like to have this like display thing or does like square Enix pay to be a part of it or i assume it's the former because i know like they're trying to do like this whole thing with like esports shit and i know they do like the live golfing stuff and i think they're doing like their own boxing league going up soon so i can see them want like if they were, if they went other way to pay Square Enix for this, it shows like the popularity of like Square Enix and like FF7 that they would pay for them to be a part of this gaming event. Either way, though, that's more or less the video, my dudes. We'll keep our eyes on this. If there's any like pictures that come out of what like the display looks like, the Midgar setting, like the vehicles and shit like that, or any other important information that we need to know about this event, we'll definitely talk about it in a video. And of course, whenever the actual like Q and A comes out, we'll do a video about it. I'm sure at some point. Either way, though, my dudes, that is the video. Subscribe channel if you guys are new. Social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, YT. That's it. Bye. Used to care what people thought, but now I care more. And nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like old train, we in here. Like low gain or leave it. Like Cobain.